Hi, my name is John Provis. I work on cements at the University of Sheffield, and I'm here to give a quick introduction to our paper called Durability of Alkali Activated Binders, Progress and Perspectives. The lead author on this paper is Dr. Susan Bernal, and I'm the co-author. So this paper really describes some of the work we've been doing over the past decade or so, trying to link the properties and performance of alkali activated and geopolymer materials. So enabling us to build up the science base to take the materials from the laboratory into service as a real world solution for low CO2 construction materials and a variety of other applications as well. So the way we approach this is really working from a nanostructural and microstructural level, building up an understanding of the chemistry of the material, how it all comes together during the reaction and hardening process, and then using that to predict the in-service performance and also accelerated testing in the laboratory, carrying that through to understanding how the material responds to aggressive service environments. So for example, sulfate, chloride, carbonation, these types of aggressive environments that are often quite damaging to a cement or a concrete, how, how does the geopolymer material or the alkali activated material perform under those conditions? And how can we predict that over a service life of decades within a reasonable time scale in the laboratory. So the way we approach the problem is from a very fundamental level. We work our way through the chemistry. We work our way through the fundamental processes that control how the material interacts with its environment. And out of the end of that, we come up with some descriptions of what we believe are going to be the performance characteristics of the material over an extended period of time. So towards the end of the paper, we also produce uh, provide some comments on what we think are the next steps that are needed in this area to really move the material forward, to really get the technology into use, into deployment around the world as a low CO2 construction material solution, which is fundamentally what we believe the material is capable of achieving. So we hope you enjoy the paper. Thanks.